All right, let's start with our top story, which is uh, in Ukraine. So if you happen to be uh, an Al Qaeda or ISIS terrorist, chances are you're not watching our show. Hopefully you're not watching our show. Well, if you happen to be, then NATO and Ukraine want you to come fight in Ukraine and they'll pay you handsomely for it. Uh, we already knew this was happening, uh, but in recent weeks it has actually accelerated in U because Ukrainian forces have been nearly decimated and wiped away, almost entirely eliminated from the battlefield. Uh, I spoke to Colonel Douglas McGregor last night who says the forces are almost gone. Listen. As you point out, most of Ukrainian's best forces are gone. They've been killed or wounded. Ukrainians have lost roughly 100,000 dead, perhaps two, three, even 400,000 wounded. Wow. They started out with an army of 600,000. Remember, we spent eight years building this army up with the express purpose of attacking Russia. That's what it was designed to do. That's why the Russians attacked it. So, you know, I couldn't help but thinking, and some people in the chat are saying this, like, the you know, Uncle Sam wants you to join us in war. And that's like what I'm thinking when I picture the basically like the recruitment now for Al Qaeda and ISIS terrorists in Ukraine, like, you know, NATO wants you, they want your support um, terrorists to come and fight in Ukraine. So of course they need fighters who can become cannon fodder as, uh, as Colonel McGregor was telling us last night. And so in March of this year, the cradle reported that Al Qaeda and ISIS fighters were arriving by the busloads into Ukraine from Northern Syria and passing through Turkey. Now, NATO has been paying these Al Qaeda and ISIS fighters a few thousand dollars a month. Just let that sink in for a moment. NATO has been paying these Al Qaeda and ISIS fighters a few thousand dollars a month. Okay. So, I mean, it probably warrants more than that kind of a response, don't you think? Like, I mean, think about this. Like, as American taxpayers or European taxpayers, you are funding terrorists to go into Ukraine. The same organizations that we funded wars to kick them out of places. Right, or that we lay claim to, we're fighting ISIS in these particular countries, that's why we need to be in Syria, or right. that's why we need to be in Afghanistan, or that's why we need to be in Iraq, or have some kind of a pre pre uh, presence. So you, you, can, you, can, you can't pay your heating bills right now, but or your rent, but your tax dollars are going to fund Al Qaeda and ISIS fighters in Ukraine. Now, this is an ISIS fighter who was captured just recently. He's interrogated, explains how he's been paid by Ukraine and NATO to fight Russia. Watch. How does that sit with you? How does that sit with anybody watching the show right now? Um, terrifying and also sad. If you've been watching our show for any length of time, you know that we've been covering the U.S. occupation of Syria, of course, on this show. And in Syria, the United States has been funding Al Qaeda forces to fight against the government of Bashar al-Assad. According to the cradle, of course, most of these terrorists showing up in Ukraine are veterans of the U.S.-backed proxy war in Syria. So they are hardened, they're trained, they're veterans. The Al Qaeda and ISIS terrorists coming from Syria specifically into Ukraine are being paid between $1,200 and $1,500 per month. Uyuyan milletler ya ölür ya da köle olarak uyuyan köle olarak uyuyan. 